case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The 2016 Supreme Court case, Gobile v. Liberty Mutual Insurance Company, centered on whether a state law enacted by Vermont regulating employee health plans intersected with federal legislation. The federal law, known as ERISA, Employee Retirement Income Security Act, oversees employer-established health plans and seeks to maintain uniformity across states, streamlining administration and averting onerous reporting requirements. Liberty Mutual Insurance Company instigated legal action against Vermont, arguing the state's law, which required disclosure of health care payment information for a comprehensive health care database, clashed with ERISA. The insurer, operating a self-funded health plan regulated by the federal law, sought an injunction to obstruct Vermont from acquiring data on its plan. Vermont's law aimed to develop a database reflecting health care consumption, costs, and resources within the state, mandating various entities report data related to health care expenses, quality, and use. Its goal was to provide a resource hub for insurers, employers, health care providers, purchasers, and state agencies to understand health care usage and costs in Vermont. Upon reviewing the case, the Supreme Court affirmed Liberty Mutual's assertion that ERISA preempted Vermont's law. Less to do with the intention behind Vermont's law, and more with how the law affected the federal legislation, the court underlined its decision with ERISA's express preemption clause. The ruling confirmed that the federal law held sway over Vermont's, primarily because the latter disrupted ERISA's intended uniformity of plan administration. As such, the ruling invalidated Vermont's law as it applied to health plans regulated under ERISA. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.